Hello friends, volumetric analysis of a bituminous mix is important step in the design of mix and there are several parameters when you design a mix. Three of them are important. One is air wires, another is wires in mineral aggregate and third is wires filled with asphalt or wires filled with bitumen. The first two air wires and VMA, I have already discussed in my earlier two sessions. Today we shall discuss the importance of wires filled with bitumen. It is called VFB or VFA. When you consider a mix, the VFA is the proportion of wires in mineral aggregate that are filled by the bitumen. And that can be better understood through a phase diagram of a mix. Let us say this is the sample of a bitumous mixture. It will contain three components, aggregate, bitumen and air. Let us say this is the part of stone aggregate. Stone aggregate is the major part of the mix. Then you have bitumen here and then some air in the mix. Now depending upon the property of these stone aggregates, a part of bitumen is absorbed by these aggregates also and that depends upon the water absorption of aggregate. Higher the value of water absorption, higher will be the binder absorbed by the stone aggregates and remaining binder remains for the mixture. Now let us say there is some binder which is absorbed. Here, out of total binder content, some binder is absorbed by the aggregate and this is what we call the effective bitumen. Remaining one is effective bitumen. Now, if you say volume, if you see the volume of these, this is what we call the air wires, VA, this is the effective binder content or volume of effective bitumen. This is VBA that is the volume of absorbed binder and this is VSE or effective volume of solids that is stone aggregate. This is what we call VMA. VA plus VBE. VA plus VBE, air wires plus volume of effective binder is wires in mineral aggregate. And the proportion of these VMA which is filled by VBE that is called VFA or VFB, volume filled with binder or bitumen that is VBE upon VA plus VBE. That is the equation, general equation to calculate VFB or VFA. And it is also called asphalt wire ratio because it is basically the asphalt which is filling the wires, wires in mineral aggregate. More conveniently, it can also be calculated as VFB or VFA is VMA minus VA that is air wires divided by VMA. So let us take one example. An example is that a bitumen mix is prepared with 5.3 percent bitumen content, binder content and the theoretical specific gravity of the mix GMM, GMM is 2.535 and bulk specific gravity of the mix is 2.442. What is the value of VFP? Now these two values I have explained the role of these values in my earlier session when we were discussing 
air wires role of air wires in a bituminous mix air wires you can calculate here directly from these two densities that is gmm minus gmb upon gmm multiplied by 100 so if you put these values you get air wires in the mix as 3.7 percent this mix will have air wires of 3.7 percent next is to calculate vma and vma can be calculated by a simple equation like 100 minus gmb into ps upon gsb now here gmb is the bulk specific gravity of the mix ps is the percentage of stone aggregates in the mixture and gsb is the bulk specific gravity of stones now this bulk specific gravity of stone will depend upon the property of the aggregate it will depend upon the percentage of coarse aggregate and fine aggregate pca and pfa percentage of coarse aggregate and fine aggregate and their specific gravities so this gsb is pca plus pfa upon pca upon specific gravity of coarse aggregate plus percentage of fine aggregate divided by specific gravity of fine aggregate that is how we calculate the bulk specific gravity of stones stone aggregates these are from the mixed design as well as laboratory test let us say this value is 2.7 for your mix now ps here because this mix is designed at 5.3 percent binder content so ps will be 100 minus 5.3 that is 94.7 94.7 percent gmb is given 2.442 so you can calculate vma will be 14.3 percent that is vma and with this vma you can find out what is vfa vfa now will be equal to vma minus va upon vma so 14.3 minus air wires air wires is 3.7 divided by 14.3 this gives you a value of 74.1 percent now this value is important this value should be within permissible limit if you look at this equation vfp is inversely proportional to air wires more is the air wires lesser will be the value of vfp a or in other words a low vfa may result in a high air wires and a high value of vfb may result in a low air wires as you can see from this equation vfa is important for two reasons number one it is a measure of durability in the mix it is a measure of durability of the mix because if vfa is low if vfa or vfb is too low that means the air wires are high that means there is not enough binder in the mix to provide the durability so it's a measure of relative durability of the mix and second is there is an excellent correlation between vfb and the percent density low vfb means high air wires that means when you provide more air wires that means you are compacting mixture with the with the low density at a low density you are compacting the mix at a low density and that mix will have the chance of over densification in the field by moving traffic and that kind of mix will is will be likely to bleed 
and that is why majority of the agencies, majority of the countries have some general range of VFB specification. In India, it is 65 to 75 percent. But many times, designer feels difficulty in meeting this criteria of 65 to 75 percent VFB. For example, if you design a mixture for low volume traffic, then the tendency of the designer would be to keep high air wires, let us say 5 percent. Now, this 5 percent is within permissible limit of 3 to 5 percent. And as I told you, high air wires means low VFP. So, VFP may go out of the range on the lower side. And this will be a less durable mix, even under low traffic conditions. Similarly, when you design a mix for heavy traffic or to provide a mix in the binder course, for example, when you design a mix for DBM to be provided as a binder course, your IRC course suggests that such mix should be designed at 3.5 percent air wires. Now, this when you keep these air wires low, VFB will increase and may cross the limit of 75 percent. Still, air wires are within permissible limit. Now here low air wires are preferred for resisting permanent deformation thus part layer. But the, the VFA requirement helps to avoid those mixes that are susceptible to rutting in heavy traffic situations. That is the importance of VFB. VFB provides additional factor of safety in the design in terms of performance of the mix. So friends, thank you very much for watching this video. You can write your suggestions in the comment box.